And you know what you can't do in the NBA? Not have a f***ing center. All right, welcome to Dunk Bait, where we talk mostly basketball. Today we'll be talking about Houston. They might be in a little bit of trouble. A lot of trouble, actually. And what's it going to take to keep Giannis? Before we start with basketball, though, are y'all hip to Travis Scott? Our hometown rapper Travis Scott debuts his own McDonald's meal. What the f*** is this, man? What can I get for you? You know what I'm here for, man. Uh, yeah. You kids that are out there going to get this, what are we doing? Make make the sauce special. Make the sauce, sauce spicy. Call it lit sauce. Do something special. Ooh, ooh, okay, Zach. And they made Szechuan sauce for the Mulan movie. You're telling me Travis can't move that like Mulan? I got a confession I got to make to you gentlemen. Uh, no. I really no. thought about going to get me a Travis Scott meal. I didn't do it. My boo talked me off the land. It was reasonably priced. It was looking so delicious. That's price is always hitting. But I didn't do it, I didn't do it. The same way he does with his music, when he when he's featured in the song, the song becomes his. He did the exact, exact same thing with the brands he's collaborated with. And I dig that, you feel me? All right, let's get to basketball. Houston has some issues. Dan Tony's out. You know, Westbrook did not look good. Harden doesn't show up at big moments. Daniel House is out here, you know, charging taxes to... <laughs> <laughs> to essential workers. And what are they gonna do? What, what's, what's, what's going on? I thought that the way they had built it going into the season was gonna be uh, indicative of them winning a title, uh, potentially. But then they went and got rid of their center. And you know what you can't do in the NBA? Not have a f***ing center. How do the analytics guys have so much clout now that they can be like, no, no, we don't need rebounds. They went too far, nerd. You know what I mean? Like, I get analytics. I mean, it has a place, right? But when you're forgetting about actual dogs that play basketball, you know, you're forgetting about the game, you need a big, especially when you're going against people like AD, who was an alien. It took three people to guard him. Most of the time, they're throwing double and triple teams, and he still had incredible games. Sometimes the numbers do lie. If, you, if, if the numbers equate to a 6'5 center, you've been lied to, you've been duped, You've been bamboozled, okay? Y'all are getting no bucket. I never seen Daryl Morey make a 15-footer consistently, so how can I respect the man's opinion? But what do you expect? I mean, give them credit. They took LeBron to five games. That's admirable to me. That's an achievement. That's something you can tell your grandkids about 30 years from now. I took LeBron to five, and they have to respect you. Like, wow, you got a game on LeBron, Dad? Whoa! But how long is hard in your guy knowing he doesn't show up in, in the biggest moments? You kind of wonder what it would look like if he could run pick and roll with an actual like elite big. I don't know who that big would be. We heard the stories that he was having parties in Scottsdale and shit that and You can't all... do that in the bubble though. So there's no True. excuse in the bubble. None of that was going no distractions. Got the got the break and he still didn't and he still didn't, you know. He said moments where he wasn't even there it seemed like. All right, so Giannis, you know, Bucks have some issues too. Like Giannis, you know, he has one more year on his on his contract. If you're the Bucks, I wonder what you do. Do you trade Giannis? Or do you hope that he stays? Because there's a chance you get nothing out of it. And like the great philosopher Swaggy P said, don't nobody want to raise a family in Milwaukee. Oh <laughs> Lord. Giannis is a good dude. I think, you know, they had that three hour lunch. I'm sure they were giving them lobsters and steaks and shrimps and all types of goodness. Tell them they're going to do this, that, and the third. But he needs that guy to get him to that next level. And that's no, no shame in that. And that's not to say that he's the Scotty or the MJ or whatever people were saying. I love it. I love Giannis. See, I yeah. think he's a guy. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he's a pip, and I think that's ridiculous. Yeah, we don't need you to shoot threes, bro. You are going for 30 and 15 or and, and seven yeah. without a three-point shot. You feel me? No. Hit free throws. Just be reliable in game when their team needs you. If you're the guy, you got to be able to have that, the ball in your hand in the end of games. And if you can't hit free throws, you can't. If he leaves and you get nothing, that is, you're going to be at, at not less than square one less than zero. I mean, but also we got a question, bud, bro. He's easy to figure out. You know what I mean? Like, can't have a minutes restriction on a guy that just won Defensive Player of the Year and MVP. Spo came in with a plan. He couldn't adjust. Nick Nurse coached circles around him last year. If he wants to win a chip, I don't know if Bud's gonna get him there. And that's the question. Can they convince him that he can win a chip? And I don't know if they can. Bottom line is this, if you got some good bud, it's gonna really take you to the moon. But if, if your bud is bad. I don't know if you guys saw last week, uh, she actually retweeted you, John, but uh, Halsey joined NBA Twitter. She created her own sort of standalone NBA Twitter account, Halsey and One. 
It's been hilarious. She's actually really good at basketball Twitter, uh, especially because like she kind of kept a lot of these opinions to herself for whatever reason. I mean, it's been really fun having her in NBA Twitter. Look, Halsey has come in like a, a young Magic Johnson, really come into Lakers Twitter as a rookie. Dropping 40 pieces in the finals, just doing yes. work. Honestly, I didn't know if it was a parody account or what at first because it was so hilarious. And then Zach, you, you really put me up on game that it was really her. And I was just like, yo, you out here really getting those flares out. So we really just want to salute you. You're out here doing it, keep, them, keep it going. And she rocks with Caruso. So how can you go wrong with that? Famous people are oftentimes lame. She's not that, yeah. and I'm a fan of it. <laughs> 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 All right, well, that's the show. I'm LeJethro Jenkins. King Josiah 54. I'm Zach Schwartz. <laughs> <laughs>